and welcome to another video session with Bullionite. Today, I'm going to go over a market analysis segment. Um, and as I have been doing recently, you know that we talked about the major fundamental events that unfolded over the last couple of months. And I said that we will look at the specific markets that were affected significantly from those fundamental events. Um, I've done a video on gold where we did a deep analysis. We went into the charts. We looked at what happened there. Today, we're going to look at the crude oil market because that was another market that was affected significantly from these fundamental events, okay? So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch uh, over to my screen where you can have a look at the charts and then we'll dissect this market and kind of understand how it's been performing price action wise, what it's doing and what it could end up doing, okay? All right. Okay, so right now, you should be able to see the crude oil chart. And one of the things that I want to point out so you can get a kind of layout of the chart and what we're looking at and kind of the time frames we're looking at, I'm going to kind of explain the basic chart that we're looking at right now. Um, and what we're looking at is the crude oil chart. And you can see this in the left left hand corner. And we're looking at a daily chart. And as you know, usually when I go over a market analysis segment, I look at three major time frames, the daily charts, the weekly charts, and the yearly charts, or I would say the monthly charts, because the monthly charts show you what happens during the course of years, okay? So right now we're gonna start off with the daily chart. Um, and you can see that towards the end of last year, so this is 2019, so this is 2018, you can see October, November, December, crude, after running up significantly, topped out, and then, there's a very clear sell signal, and we'll walk you through sell signals on another uh, video as well. But you can immediately see that crude started on a massive downtrend. Big, 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 big boom down, okay? And actually, within a course of about three months, crude dropped from around $78 a barrel to, you know, when you look at it, it's around $42 a barrel. I mean, that's a big move. In, a, in about two and a half months to three months, okay? Um, and what's very interesting is it was triggered from one of the fundamental events as well happening. There was a couple other things like oil-related events happening with Iran um, and, you know, some of the supply issues and the global supply glut and things. But what I will believe is that the major issues were the trade war concern between the United States and China. Then you have this whole Federal Reserve coming up, you know, that's why we talked about the fundamental events, Federal Reserve reducing interest rates, what does that mean? Um, the stock market being extremely volatile. So this is an interesting market to watch and there's a lot of profitable opportunities, okay? And also to learn when to stay away from a market. So I'm gonna show you that as well, okay? So first you saw this massive drop over the course of that three months. Then the market retraced itself, you can see that, from around 42 back to around 66 or so. What's very interesting is if you've ever been trading for a while, you can see this retracement is about halfway or a little over halfway from this movement down, which kind of falls inside the Fibonacci retracement sequences. So that's another thing I'm gonna to quickly touch on. Most major markets, when they either have a massive drop or they go up significantly, they, they tend to retrace themselves based on Fibonacci retracement sequences. Um, and I will make a video uh, and release it where we actually analyze the Fibonacci sequence and kind of get an idea of how that works. But for this video, I'm not gonna go deeper into it, but you can kind of see that the major Fibonacci retracement levels are the 38.2%, the 50%, and the 61.8%. This looks like it did a nice Fibonacci retracement and then it got hit again okay on the way down now what's interesting is you'll see that after this drop down it's been a difficult market to trade okay and this is something that i can go over with real world experience with me trading this market as well i've been trading crude oil you know for a long time and just recently in the last month month and a half crude's been difficult to trade and i'm going to go over why and how you should sometimes stay away from that market until it comes back to a place where it becomes easier to trade. In other words, the volatility is good volatility instead of bad volatility, okay? And I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, let's just switch this chart right now to the weekly chart on, on crude so you kind of get a, a kind of a longer time frame look. 
Um, and right here, you can clearly see how in that October, November, December time period, how the market significantly came down, right? What's interesting in this chart that I'd like to point out is a few ways that you can kind of could have taken part in this trade. One, you can see how after this big run up in crude that we were part of, right? Then when you saw this trend line break right here, that was a short, okay, right here. Um, and it was also kind of triggered by a very interesting sell signal on the candlestick on a weekly chart, because remember this is a weekly chart. Um, we will go over candlestick sell, sell signals and buy signals on a different video as well, but you can see how effective this sell signal was when it closed underneath the previous week's low, then the market kept going lower and lower and lower. Big, very strong, profitable, short trade if you were part of it, you could do it. Then you can also see the reversal very clearly down here, going into the last couple weeks of December 2018, you have a very interesting candlestick signal which is kind of like a plus or a positive sign. And this is what's called a doji, D-O-J-I in Japanese candlesticks. And what that means is that there is no conviction between the buyers and sellers. So there's an equal number of buyers and equal number of sellers. This is a really good doji because you can see a, a very nice equal playing field. Sometimes dojis have kind of a distance and I'll, I'll walk you through that as well on a different chart. But in this particular thing, a doji, if it happens at the low end of a market, it is a reversal signal. If it happens at the top end of a market, it's a reversal signal for it to come down. So here, this was very interesting. At the end of December, you saw the doji happen. And then what you do is you wait for a week. If you're looking at a weekly chart, you'll wait for a week to get confirmation of that. What do I mean by confirmation? Very simple, I'm gonna clear out the drawing here. You saw the doji happen right here, which is the positive sign. Then you wait for a week, and if the previous week's high gets taken out and you close above it, previous week's high gets taken out and you close above the high of the previous week, that's a good long trade to get into. And you can see how this market went up significantly from around $45 back to 66 or so. That's a big trade in crude. If you're trading crude futures contracts, every dollar is a thousand dollars, right? So if you had good risk management techniques, good stock placements, Again, just to remind you, I've made some videos on effective stock placement techniques. I'll continue to make better videos so you can understand that. You can see how this could have been a good long trade. So now what's going on? With all the issues that's happening, with Trump you know, just talking about the 10% hike on additional Chinese imports, um, the Federal Reserve reducing interest rates, China devaluing its currency, what does it mean? Well, it seems like crude still hasn't figured out what it wants to do. Whereas if you looked at the gold market, you know, in my video, you'll see that gold has gone up significantly because of that news. But crude has become what I called a nonsensical volatile market. Now I'm gonna to explain to you what I mean by that, right? Volatility is good and bad. There's good volatility and bad volatility. I've done a video on that, please watch that. Um, you need markets to have good volatility in order for you to make profitable trades. What do I mean by good volatility? The market has to have a sane type of volatility, meaning it's not acting abnormal. It's not acting weird and crazy. It's not taking out the previous day's highs and previous day's lows. It is within a trend and it does tend to continue to continuously move higher or continuously move lower, right? But the price does, go, does move up and down. Now what's happening with crude is that suddenly one day, Trump says something and crude's down like $4. Next day something happens in China, crude's up like $4. Bad market to trade because you can get chopped up, chopped up, chopped up, right? It's very frustrating even for professional traders like us when we're in that market, it takes out stops in unnecessary places, right? Now what does that mean? Does that mean that you're wrong and that you're the one to blame? No, it simply means Crude has come into a place where it's not a strong market to trade, just wait it out. Go to another market that's better, you know, has better volatility, has good volatility, and wait out crude until it comes back from this bad volatility to a place where it is gonna have good directional volatility. And then you can become profitable in that again. Okay, because if you keep trading this market, what you'll see is at the end of the week or the end of the month, it's taken a lot of money from you. 
and that's what that's not the point of trading right so that's what I wanted to kind of show you now let me show you a, a real world example of what I mean by that I'm going to switch to one of my technical charts and you'll see right here I want to clear out my drawing this is a daily chart on crude where I have some moving averages and like you know a lot of technical indicators that I look at which I'll go into later but what's important to see here is that you know crude closes like for example this candle it closed below all the moving averages and then the next day it goes higher that's what I mean by bad volatility it's supposed to actually continue lower right now for example here it closed all over the moving average above went up for one day and then big drop the next day that's a market you want to avoid. Avoid markets that trade like that. That is not a good thing, okay? So that's what I wanted to kind of show you real world as I'm trading, why in the last couple of weeks to a month, I've decided, hey, this is a market you gotta wait out on. That's also a risk management technique. If you want to grow your account, you also have to know how not to trade a market or when not to trade a market, okay? Um, the next thing I just wanna let you know is if we quickly go on to the monthly chart, you'll see this um, issue again, where on the monthly chart, I'm gonna go into the, the one where you can see better without all the moving averages you'll see that after this big run, a big drop down, and then the retracement, it hasn't figured out where it wants to go. This is a market that again, I think it makes sense to just hold off on, right? So here's my recommendation or my, my look at this. Follow the geopolitical concerns that's going on right now, okay? Look at what's going on with the equity markets and the other markets that are kind of correlated to crude. And then when crude triggers the right trade, you can, you'll see it. The market will tell you when you have to get into it. And we, from Bullionite, will also do a Bullionite moment and we'll be like, okay, now this is a great trigger and you can follow us, okay? So until next time, happy and successful trading. Content is for educational purposes only. This is not investment advice from Bullionite LLC. There is always risk for substantial losses in investing and or trading through any financial instrument with or without this or any other type of advertised product. Past performances are not indicative of future results. Different types of investments involve varying degrees of risk. Specific strategies or education presented by Bullionite LLC and its associates in this video are for educational purposes only.